This next one was £15. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to make on it because it's quite a rare shirt. What is going on guys, welcome back to the free football shirt collection series. In the last episode, we picked this bad boy up, brand new with tags. I haven't taken the tags off, I've just tucked them behind my neck. We also picked up the Bayern Munich shirt, which is my favourite. And we also picked up a sexy little pink number, Real Madrid's away shirt from, was it 2020, I think. Um, that will probably never be worn, if I'm honest, because it, it's kind of getting to be a, a bit of a rival of Liverpool. I mentioned it in the last video, many of you agreed. So future me interjecting, as you can see, bang, it's gone. I sold it. After the final, I decided I'm probably never going to want or be able to wear a Real Madrid shirt. So it's gone. Plus, I wasn't like, I liked it, but I wasn't like overly fussed anyway. Like the, the Bayern Munich shirt, I'm going to keep that regardless, even if they beat us 5-0 in the next game or whatever, because that's just a really nice shirt. So anyway, it's gone and the profit will go into or back into the series. If you do want to enjoy this video... Do remember to hit that like button, it really does help me a lot. Leave a comment if you have a question or words of encouragement or anything like that. That would be great. I think I, I think I will start doing some Instagram stuff soon. I always forget about Instagram, think about it being a thing, forget about it being a thing, I should say. But I'm going to try and get that done uh, as well. So if you want to go follow me over there, I think the link is in the description. If it's not, I'll remember to put it in. Should we get into the first pickup? Uh, we're back from our retail uh, trip and we're going to do another four, I think. Yeah, four vintage pickups this app is brilliant so these i'm going to do the boring one first it's a pair of astros uh they were seven pound 64 we're going to round up to eight pound we currently have three pound profit in the on the fund so we can't buy anything to keep unless we buy to sell to make money to be able to buy to keep does that make sense so boom there they are these are Eh, I don't really like them to be honest. I'm not a massive fan of Astros in general, but yeah, they're not really my color. They, I don't, they're mercurial, but I don't really know what else they are. They're a size, it says mercurial X, they're a size eight and a half, give you some close ups. They've got a little bit of wear on the inside foot where you'd obviously pass the ball or do some sexy little finesse shots from the edge of the area. Uh, but apart from that, they're in relatively good condition. There's a little bit of scuff in here or there. Tread wise, they're brilliant. You'd swear, apart from the little bit of like mud here or there, you'd swear that they'd never really been worn. They've got a lot of tread left. They were eight pound. I'm hoping to get twenty to twenty five out of them. I don't know if I will, but I'm hoping I can do that. We shall see. Who knows? They may have sold by now, and you'll see on screen that it's just been sold. I don't know, but um, not a massive amount of profit. Probably looking at about ten to fifteen pound max. Fifteen would be on the on the top end, but ten, 10 to fifteen would be would be nice, I would say. Uh, next pickup. So the next one is still in the bag. Um, I have opened all of these to see if they're in there because the way that Vinted works is when your item arrives, the person who sent it don't, doesn't get the money unless you mark it as received and everything's fine. So rather than just have it all stacked up to one side ready to do a video, which I do sometimes with video game related stuff, I need to open them, check they're okay, and then mark them as received so that people get their money and they're not moaning at me to do that. Because like, nothing drives me mad, more mad, I should say, than when I sell something on Vinted and the person receives it, picks it up and just doesn't mark it as received. You have to wait like five days after the... Anyway, um, this is a football shirt. They're all football shirts from here on in. Can you tell what it is yet? It's white. It's blue. I'll give you another hint. They play in England... Ooh, what could it be? More, more, reveal more, reveal more. Red, red collar, white back. Oh, the suspense is killing me. It is Blackburn Rovers 2011 shirt. I think this is the 2011 shirt. There are two variants of this, I'm pretty sure. It's very difficult to find out exactly what this is because I can't really find, like the official Blackburn site or anything. I'll give you a little close up. I can't find it on like an official Blackburn site for obvious reasons because it's 11 years old. Classic football shirts don't carry this shirt. So yeah, there is one with a sponsor on the front. It's like, like feathers essentially, right? Um, I don't know whether, I'm guessing, like, I'm not 100% sure this is not a training top, but I, I'm I've not seen anything to suggest that it is. I think it's literally just the home shirt, but without the sponsor. Maybe they ran into problems. 
before they picked up the sponsor or after. I don't know the history. Blackburn Rovers fans, if you're out there, please let me know what the hell this is. At the moment, because I can only really find one on eBay and it has Yakubu on the back with Premier League patches, um, there is a little bit of wear. As you can see, there's a few like little bits of like bobbles and stuff. There's some marks on the back, like there, if you can see. Um, I mean, say marks, they're, they're almost like poles or bobbles or something. I've got a, um, I've gone ambitious with this one. I don't think I'm going to get it, but I think I've got it up for like 35, 40 pound. I'm not going to get that, and that's fine. The, the whole point of me putting it up that high was you could always come down, right? When you list something, you list it up high, and you could bring it down. You can't list something for 20 and then keep upping the price. It doesn't work like that. So if I put it up for 40 and someone comes in for an offer of 30, yeah, I'll take it. Um, it cost me, how much did it cost me? It's a very good question. Uh, £12.90. So we'll round up £13 that cost, which I think is a fair price. I mean, worst case, I think £25 for that shirt. Just because it's not that common, you can't find it that, that often. And that is due to the age and because the club is now in the championship, it's not readily available to walk into JD in any town and to be able to buy one. If you're a Liverpool fan or a Man City fan, Man United fan, whatever, you can walk into any JD in the country and chances are they stock your shirt. You don't get that with the likes of Blackburn Rovers these days. So that makes it a little bit more desirable. If like To give you an example, Nottingham Forest shirts, wow, they are so expensive. Doesn't matter what era this season, last season, 20 years ago, forget about it. You're spending 70 quid regardless. It, they're so expensive. And it's kind of the same with the likes of Blackburn as well. Next pickup. This is a pickup I want to keep, but I can't and because I'm fat. So this is a medium. Came in a lovely little ASOS bag. Do you say ASOS? I say ASOS. What, what's, how, how else would people say it? ASOS. Oh, don't like that. Anyway, this is not a football shirt, actually. This is a training like jacket. Um, annoyingly, I, I really want to keep it. It's not Liverpool, but it's it's not it's not close. But you know, it's close in my estimation of collection, and that is it's Welsh. Um, that is oh, it's so nice. It's up there with the Bayern Munich shirt. I love it. It fits, but it's tight, and I would be self-conscious in it. I don't want to wear it. Um, I am tempted to keep it, but at the same time, I need the money. Uh, so. I mean, so nice, honestly. This this was actually pretty cheap, I think. So, yeah, so this was five ninety five, including postage. That, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, is anywhere between forty and fifty. Uh, what year is it from? I can't. Uh, it does. I did. I mean, I've listed it already, and it, I think it does say somewhere. Oh, where is it? I can't remember what year it's from. Uh, there it is. It's from twenty fifteen. I just, I really like it. I think, yeah, I think it's really smart, but. A medium I am not so I've got a profit on that I think I will, will be conservative I'll say 30 pound profit I think I can get more because if it sells for 35 or 36 we've made 30 pound profit that's the way money works but um, I'd like to think I can push 40 to 50 and a lot of people might say no it's not gonna happen absolutely not and yeah you may be right I may not be able to but I'm gonna try Currently listed for about 50, I think. So we'll see what happens with that. Just on my phone, looking for the next purchase. And I can't find it. It's next to me. Oh, it's gone up, of course, because it's... Yeah, this next one was £15. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to make on it because it's quite a rare shirt. Still in the bag. Don't worry, not my address. Just a random barcode that was on there before. Because, yeah, see, it's over the top. I, anyway, um... This is actually available on Classic Football Shirts uh, for £50, obviously secondhand, in what they class as excellent condition. This one is in excellent condition, but they only have a double XL on Classic Football Shirts. This cost me 15 as I said. This needed some work. Ooh, beautiful little orange colour. It needed some work because it had a stain on the front. I've got it off. I have, I wouldn't say damaged the shirt, but I've maybe worn the material a little bit. It is a 2015 Napoli third shirt. Now, rule of thumb, when it comes to football shirts, if you are collecting or if you're looking to make a profit, maybe looking to invest, that's the, that's the best way I can maybe put it. 
third shirts are an absolute gold mine. They're, I wouldn't say they're guaranteed, but you don't get much closer. Third shirts are not um, printed anywhere near as much as the home or the away. Some, you know, bigger clubs have vibrant shirts like this one, whereas their home and away shirts are normally either like blue, like their, their home shirt, shirt is what, normally this color? all over it's a nice shirt sure it is but it's quite common and and every variant of their home shirt looks the same their away shirt again it's it's nice but it's quite common and generally tends to be the same color third shirts for clubs tend to be a little bit out there and this is definitely out there it is really really nice there was a mark on it and i've probably given you a close-up already um that was actually the close-up was before in fact, I don't think I showed you, but the, the mark or the, the, the close-up images that I showed you were actually before I took the mark out. So the mark looks like that now. I don't know if you can see it. It's very faint. The the material I've worn a little bit, but, you know, it was sort of... I had to do it, otherwise the mark would never have come out. So I used stain, stain remover and it didn't work. So I had to gently try and, you know, ease it out with a, a little bit of a toothbrush. It worked. Tooth, tooth, toothbrush. Nothing on the back. It is a size large, which in Kappa means it's XXXS because that is so skin tight. Honestly, if that was like a double XL, I would consider keeping it. And I say double XL because honestly, these shirts, they are ridiculous. They're so stretchy. Kappa shirts are a nightmare. I would hate to be a fan of Napoli just purely because I'd never be able to wear the home shirt. And as I put it, like bought a triple XL and put it over the hoodie. Um, this isn't in the best of conditions. It has pulls on it. Like little bobbles, I don't know if you're be able to tell. The camera's not gonna be able to pick it up, I'm sure, but we'll see. Um, that, like I said, is 50 quid on classic football shirts. I'm probably looking at about 30 to 35. So we may very well double up after fees and tax and all the rest of it is taken out. So, you know, it's it's not a bad deal. I saw it and I ju you just don't see it very often. And I pounced because you have to in that scenario. It's one of those, gotta get it because you just don't see it. Even if you're not going to make that much money, I just, I like to be able to have it. I've handled that now and I'm passing it on to someone that hopefully will keep it for a long time. But just, you know, sometimes I do it with video games. I buy a video game, not because I want it necessarily to keep and not because I'm going to make much, if any, money on it. I just want to say that at one point I've owned that and here it goes out the door again. And it's the same with football shirts. It's just nice to be able to see them and, and feel them and, and experience having it and then sort of moving it on. Sounds a little bit questionable, but at the same time, I'm all right with it. Like I said, money-wise, I don't really know what that puts us on. So I'll put a value up here after I've done some proper research for in, in terms of like projected profit, shall we say. That figure may fluctuate, may go up or down, depending on whether things sell for a little bit more or less or whatever it may be. But it does mean that we've put some money back into the fund now to be able to go out in the next episode and actually pick a shirt up for the collection. I say that lightly because I may very well not do that and we may take another episode to make some more money because we, we may want to go and buy something fairly substantial. But like I said, might have some swaps going on very soon, so we'll see how we get on with that but if you have enjoyed that episode of the free football shirt collection series then do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye